Good morning! I just got done getting ready. I woke up pretty early this morning because I'm gonna join my mom. I think she has an appointment. So she just asked if I wanted to come with her. Of course I don't mind. I don't have anything else planned this morning. It's actually really foggy and cold, which I like because it reminds me of fall, which fall is around the corner. Quick outfit of the day, the necklace. I got, actually, I want to say two months ago from Just Fab. I don't know if they still have this. Um, and then my outfit is like from my fall outfit video. Cardigan from Nordstrom BP. Um, this top is actually a jersey knit dress, but I'm wearing it as a, just a tank top. Uh, maternity pants from Ross, and then Just Fab. Boots. This is a Rainforest Treasure Tea that I'm going to start. I actually haven't had my tea yet today, so this is kind of exciting. Alright, I'm here with uh, Troy Casey, Certified Health Nut. I just connected with him. Rob Ross introduced us and we're here. I'm in Southern California, if you didn't guess. And uh, yeah, got anything to say? Yeah, look at, look at what a great oh, day yeah. <laughs> it is at my house today. So, enjoy the view from Paradise. I mean, ultimately, life on Earth is paradise. However, it's definitely Dude, that's really good. It's that's got like nice. a, a natural sweetness to it. Is that well? There's wild stevia in it, which oh, is a hundred times see. sweeter than sugar. Most oh. people think it's just a sweetener. However, most commercial stevia has dextrose in it. Okay. And this is just completely wild oh, stevia. Yeah. Is that in the actual tea, or is it just you just added it? It's it's brewed in the tea. It's oh, actually in the, tea. Cool. in the formula. Yeah, there's six wild plants in there. I've had the other tea. The mate. The mate, yeah. And Herbal that's, mate. That and one's good too. That one's got a real clean little buzz on it. Yeah, yeah. That's That one I think I enjoy uh, more just because I'm used to it. Yeah, that one has no uh, caffeine in it, the one you're drinking right there, the okay. treasure tea. I just dropped off my mom. She has a foster parent training thingy. And this whole time I thought she just wanted to she wanted me to accompany her to her appointment, but no. So, I got two hours to kill. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Window shopping, that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe even hit up a thrift store. Sometimes you can find some cool stuff at the thrift store. Target, oh Target, you are my best friend. Look, there's all this Halloween stuff. So funny. I always look at makeup and I think this is like the third time I'm looking at makeup aisles. And I just like looking even though there's nothing new really. But I love looking at makeup. It's an illness. This is really cute. Nursing bras. So my girlfriend actually told me to get linolin because of breastfeeding, so I'm gonna get this. Of course, now that everybody's back in school, all the school stuff is on clearance. That's 75 cents for a nice notebook. You know, in college, I always liked the five subject. Oh, this is a good deal. $1.64 for a five subject college ruled. Wow, it's like I want to get it, but I don't need it. Yeah, I'm getting it. My planner that I've had the past year is pretty much done. I gave it lots of love. I can never rely on my phone calendar. I don't know why. I just, I like the old school having a planner. Uh, but luckily, since this is almost done, luckily the planners were on sale at Target in the school section. So I was able to get this cute little cupcake planner for $2.08. And I like to get the planners that have the dividers for the months so you don't have to like search forever. And I bought one for mom too because she always forgets her calendar at home. Like, I think she literally brings a calendar to <laughs> appointments and stuff. So I just decided to get her one. This one, I think, was marked 
incorrectly because it rung up as seven dollars and I'm like uh-uh it has a sticker so I got it for two thirty-eight. I'm here with Troy and I want I've been wanting to ask him this question ever since I've seen him on YouTube but um, if you don't mind how old are you? I'll be 47 at the end of the year. 47 everybody look at this real life Brad Pitt <laughs> and he's like he's like totally into health and stuff you know like just because you're into health like a holistic lifestyle you don't have to be I don't know like put into a box you can still be like a regular person he's a cool guy well the other thing that I like to point out is I don't go to the gym and really I have I have I have two young children so for the last five years I've had four gym memberships I've had the intention of going back to the gym but for the most part I have uh, I have a nice stroller uh, <laughs> and I live in a very nice park and my exercise for the last five years has been walking mm. and so my proof of how holistic health works and organic food works is always in the pudding <laughs> if you're getting health information you want to make sure you're getting it from someone who actually embodies it not just a talking head or someone who has theories or scientific information because remember scientists are the prostitutes of the modern era and so uh, the best science project is always in your own laboratory or your own temple it's about 75 to 80 percent diet now now I don't want to mislead people it's not that I don't work out I walk yep. that's my exercise and walking is a primal pattern it's the way hum human beings were designed to move through time and space so it's not that I don't work out. My diet's super clean. I have very powerful nutrients that I take from the Amazon rainforest. I've been cleaning out my liver, kidney, and colon for over 23 years. I've been juicing for 23 years. It's funny that he talks about walking because you know, Judy and I, we try to walk all the time. And even for me, I'm in Taekwondo, so I work out pretty hard and I go into the gym at least once a week, actually only once a week. And after my walks, especially like the one or two hour walks, I will kind of feel a little sore or fatigued, right? Like, because it can be a good workout, especially if you're going up hills. And uh, I don't know what to, it's just the weirdest thing. I'll walk up the stairs to uh, where I live and my legs will feel like I just had worked out, even though I didn't exert a lot of force. Yeah, I mean, it brings blood flow to the whole yeah. body. It lubricates the tissues. It moves the synovial fluid up and down the spine. Here's my little secret to, to everyone. Try some barefoot walking. Mm. You have to understand that if we have rubber or plastic on the bottom of our shoes, we're insulated. So all the voltage, wattage, electricity, which turns into electricity is fire. And so that goes into the body. Cell phones, laptops, EMFs, that's going into the body. If you're not grounding that out into the earth, then that fire inflammation is going into your body. Do some walking barefoot in the park. Nothing could be more healthy. Plus, it's good for your metatarsals and all your meridian points that are at the bottom of your feet. So you get real energized just walking barefoot. A half an hour barefoot walking is probably better than an hour walking in your shoes. She is dancing in my belly. I see you dancing in there, Juliana. I swear you are not camera shy. Your mom and dad are Judy and Benji. Oh my gosh. Wow. And puppies. Oh yeah, it's a matching uh, oh ribbon. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 My mom really did have like a training and then she called me and she's like, okay, well, I'm ready to get picked up. And they threw me a little surprise party, which was sweet because that's actually um, the foster care place that I used to work at when I was in college. So that was so sweet of them to throw me a party. Eating my midday snack. Heirloom tomatoes I bought, uh, some of those broccoli left over, and then my guac. It got a little bit brown, but that's okay. Still tastes fine. Still hanging out with Troy here in California. But yeah, this is what we're doing. We just made a couple videos. I'll be putting up the uh, tea video very soon. Oh my gosh. I just saw a commercial with Backstreet Boys. They're doing Old Navy commercials. Say what? I was like obsessed. Obsessed with Backstreet Boys when I was in fifth grade. 
my cousin. It was actually my cousins that got me into them. It was a 97, and uh, my cousins at the Ann and Kate, they're like, yeah, you know BSB. I'm like, what's BSB? And Backstreet Boys are popular in Canada before they became popular here in the US. Also, Britney Spears too. I remember I saw Britney Spears' music video like three months before she became popular in the States. They're advertising um, rock star jeans. And I remember when, actually months ago, there was a company or like an advertising group that was asking me to promote rock star jeans. And I'm like, I don't know if I'd be able to promote that because I'm like hella preggers. And by the time the promotion begins, I'm gonna be like way preggers. So then I was quite hesitant, but I was like, you know, maybe I could make it work, but things fell through, so I guess. Ugh. So yeah, I'm not advertising that. Oh, it's Benjamin! Hi, hon. Hi, honey, I'm Kara. Game on the phone, how you doing? Hi. Benji was on a business meeting and he just had a question. Anyways, um... Yeah, Backstreet Boys. Dude, I would like freak out if I ever met the Backstreet Boys. Who was your guys' favorite? Mine was Nick Carter. Let me tell you a story, okay? This is kind of funny. <laughs> so, um, up until I was 11, back in 97. Oh, that rhymed. Up until I was 11, my name was Judith. Judith is my birth name. Judith is what everybody called me. My parents, my friends, my family, everybody. And then one day <laughs> I saw a poster of the Backstreet Boys and Nick Carter was wearing this um, leather jacket. It was like red and black and then on the sleeve it said Judy. And I'm like, my name is Judy. Call me Judy. <laughs> so since then my name is Judy. It's, I mean, it's a nickname, you know, Judith Judy. But I thought that was the funniest thing ever. While I was at the office earlier, my former coworker uh, told me about this product called Nerium AD. I think she like got all of all of my former coworker ladies into this because they're all like, oh my gosh. It totally like transformed how their face looked, like got rid of dark spots, wrinkles, minimize the look of pores. Um, so she lent me this to just try for a week. And um, yeah, I never heard of it, Nerium. And from the sound of it, it is like a multi-level market. So if you refer somebody, you get a discount or I don't, you know, I don't really know how multi-level market markets work. But um, anyway, I was just wondering if you guys have heard of this Nerium AD. What do you guys think about it? And apparently it's like just a new product. So something I'm just going to try out. Um, not that I really need it, but um, my friend was saying that it's like a good preventative. But anyway, it doesn't hurt to try out. And I did ask. I'm like, is it okay for me to use since I'm pregnant? And she said that they took it to a doctor and he said it's fine according to the ingredients. Let me know what you guys think about it if you heard of it. Hour or two. Can you wave your belly around so I can see Juliana? <laughs> you can't really see her. <laughs> well, she's looking, she's looking uh, fashionable today. Get your feet in the earth mm -hmm. for just another free health tip. Yeah. It's just, it's free and you will feel amazing. Trust me, it's my medicine. It's what I live by. And yeah, if you don't live on the beach, just draw a beach like he did here and uh, <laughs> walk around your farm.